Hello, and a super kindly fragilistic ex Philadelphia's evening to everyone. Now, today, me and my associates are going to introduce you something new, something that you don't learn in class, that is green technology. So, firstly, I would like to clear out those misconceptions that people get when they hear the word green tech. That is, firstly, green tech is not literally green colored tech. And secondly, green tech is not the study of plants. Now, green tech by definition is technology that is considered environmentally friendly based on its production and supply chain. So it's good for us and also good for the earth. Green tech is also known as clean tech and envirotech. Examples of green tech are synthetic trees. You say trees? Not real trees, but man-made trees that can create oxygen from carbon dioxide. So they're good. So other than that is green buildings. But not literally green buildings. What? Green buildings are self-sufficient buildings that can generate their own energy, gives less waste, and also doesn't pollute the earth. But on to the main topic for today, the second definition of green technology. That is the generation of energy that less that gives less harm than the normal traditional way of creating energy, that is coal and oil. So what do we have is solar. Our solar man. And solar panels are objects that can change light into energy. So it is still expensive, but it's worth it. Just put it in your house and you can generate your own electricity. That's good, isn't it? So on to IV panels. There are innovations of solar panels. They are cheaper but less durable. Now on to geothermal energy. Damn boy! Geothermal energy is created from generated from turbines that are generated from steam. So this steam is created by heating water from the Earth's core. Now onto payment generators, they are generated from your footsteps by using the, the force pool. of your footsteps. By the power of the force. Now onto hydroelectricity. Now hydroelectricity, there are three ways to create electric from water. One is using the kinetic force from falling water, like such as waterfalls. Another way is from the waves. You can generate the electricity from waves, the kinetic waves. Other than that are reverse fuel cells. I would like to talk about that but that would be a big topic. You could generate electricity just from water but that's too big of a topic. Now on to wind. Feel the breeze. Now wind energy, it's created from kinetic energy that is kinetic energy from wind. So we power turbines using this energy. It's an efficient way of creating Energy that doesn't give toxic like the other stuff. Biomass, in the other hand, is just like burning fuel, but they emit less toxic gases like coal and oil. Now, green tech is good and all, but the problem is, green tech is not well developed yet. Green tech is, yes, costly, but gives less energy than the traditional way we create energy such as coal and oil. We've been here for centuries, we're still running. Yeah, what we share. Now, but the problem with coal and oil productions, even though they give more energy than renewable energy, is that they give off toxic gases such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, CFC, and all those. And these increase the CFC, or not the CFC, the greenhouse gases that are already on Earth. And that is bad. It goes to global warming. Now, here's a simple gimmick we've done. A simple ah, ah, gimmick we've done. So, ah, that's the sun. And he's shooting UV rays to the ozone layer that's protecting the earth. But the problem I is, when these toxic gases oh my God. The, ozone layer, oh my God. the ozone layer dies, ah. causing the UV to go to earth. And earth does. Everyone dies because ultraviolet rays are not good for people. Now, to the effects. Now, because of this, floods will happen. And when floods happen, and floods happen because what what floods happen because rising sea levels because Antarctica is ice melting. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So here's the simple conclusion to this. Okay, basic tech solves problems such as heat, so you're hot, so you use air conditioning. So the solution, but the solution gives out GHG such as CFC, and that's the problem. It goes back to heating up the earth. So that's the paradox. So green tech is here to stop that. Green Tech is here to stop solutions that lead to problems and problems that need solutions. So we, from Super Science Bros, thank you for watching this video. <laughs> Please, vote us. Oh. 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 Vote us. Vote us. Please, vote us. Vote us for Life Stage. Yeah. yeah.